Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got a very interesting ROM. It's called the Haxenos ROM for the Galaxy S3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, we have here the Haxenos ROM, which is, okay, now let's get into the rationale of the ROM first. Uh, first of all, what you see here is the lock screen, the launcher and all that. This is an AOSP based ROM for the S3, which is based on the Hexinox uh, processor from Samsung. Now, since uh, basically Samsung has abandoned our S3 and uh, well, we are not going to get any updates from Samsung in any way. Uh, a lot of developers are leaving away from Samsung because it is getting it to a, be a uh, lower end device, uh, older device. And so developing for it, that is not going to earn any money for them. So yeah, that is a feature of this. Now, the team Haxenos is actually there to provide the newest versions of Android releases to the S3, basically Exynos processors, uh, so that we are updated with the, all the security fixes, bug fixes and all that. So we are not left out. So that is a really, really good rationale for this ROM. That is something which I really appreciate from this ROM. So yeah, let's get into some stuff now. First of all, in the settings menu, you can see it is um, based on the latest version of Android, which is 5.1.1. Uh, pretty cool that it is that and it is Lollipop. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of Haxenos branding, which is something which I found uh, very unique to be honest uh, it doesn't have any branding um, it is based on uh, the nameless kernel right now and you are going to have the nameless kernel right now so uh, i'm not really sure if there are any other custom kernels available for this rom but there will be soon because yeah there are going this is probably going to be the only rom with the latest version of android and all, almost all roms are going to be based off of this one that's just my prediction uh, it may be true may not be so yeah in the extra settings now it doesn't really have extra settings because it is a purely aosp based uh rom so you cannot expect a lot of things from it and i'm going to showcase this rom because this is a very stable rom the only problem which i found with this is the battery life which can be fixed with kernel fixes in on down the line and this version is quite an old version uh, so you are going to get a few options uh, in the newer version this is on september 21st which is quite an old version uh, this is aosp and you are going to get a lot of stuff from it bluetooth working gps is working which is a rarity on a lollipop rom these days uh, and that is something which i really appreciate wi-fi is working and it is really cool uh, data is working i have actually used data on this one i have used this rom as a daily driver for a few days now and it is really really cool i mean i'm surprised that lollipop is this advanced right now and it is really really nice to have that so yeah in the extra stuff i mean this is as i said a lollipop aosp rom so you are not going to get any extra bells and whistles but the main thing is it is lollipop on an s3 which is functioning great without many bugs yes it does have a few bugs here and there which you will be better reading on the xda forum than i'm listing here but it does work for what it is and i really really like that now i have actually used uh, this rom for a few reasons um I've actually tested GPS with this application. I was able to get a few satellites and do the benchmark score. I will be getting that into later. Uh, Super Su is working. Uh, this stuff I have installed, uh, Camera FV, um, File Explorer and Titanium Backup is something which I have personally installed. So yeah, you won't be getting that. Camera. Now camera is still not a Samsung camera. So you are going to get a few problems here and there. Sometimes it will be a camera can't connect option. Uh, even with the camera FP5, uh, that is not going to work uh, sometimes. But a restart will do uh, justice to it. So it's going to work. So yeah, that is what I wanted to uh give about this rom this is probably going to be the future uh s3 is going to have a newer versions available for it but i'm not really sure when or how but haxenos does seem to be a very promising thing to it so yeah let me show you guys the to the benchmark score which is pretty awesome so yeah
so guys there you have it that is the score which i receive right now which is uh on the higher side normally the score uh, after a few run-ins is about 24,000 something and 23 on the higher 23 23,000 so yeah that is about the uh, performance you are going to expect from this ROM because it is not an overclocked ROM in by any stretch of the way it's not a performance ROM it is a more stable ROM which I am able to use so that is really really cool so yeah so the boot animation I'm not going to show you guys the boot animation because it's nothing uh, there's no boot animation it's just a standard Android text with nothing else so it's not very interesting either so yeah uh, in the conclusion what I would like to say is that the ROM, this ROM is uh, touted to be a very very stable ROM for the S3 and I kind of believe that because this is going to be a very stable ROM for the S3 uh, in lieu of Samsung abandoning us uh, and a lot of developers moving away. Uh, so yeah, this is probably going to be the best bet at a newer version of Android for us on the device. So that is really cool uh, also on side note the battery life um, which I wanted to talk about the battery was as you can see there are no real wake clock issues but the battery usage is not very um, what should I say optimized for this device so maybe something like an exposed module like amplifier or greenify will be able to fix that so yeah that is up to your individual so I'm not going to try that here so yeah just that so I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, I really really like this one and I really want this to have a future updates on this. It is a really cool ROM and we are actually rooting for this to be able to provide with the latest updates on our S3. So yeah, that's really cool. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.